I was a gymnast my whole entire life. The flexibility, the strength, how stubborn I am, uh, all comes from gymnastics. But maybe three years ago, I discovered acro, and I completely fell in love. I love the rush and like the high that it gives me and like the power and control that you feel when you're upside down. It's like a little bit scary and dangerous, but like I always know I'm in control. It's your time to shine. I was working in Chicago at um, a little store where I was designing jewelry. I was scrolling through Instagram. I found Acro James and Acro John's like little videos that they made and I was like, ooh, I can do that. Because I have that gymnastic background, that looks so much fun. I was in a really bad relationship. Am I allowed to say that he was a heroin addict? Totally. Does that, yeah. that, that's I like the best it. part of the story, okay. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I moved to Santa Monica two and a half years ago. I was dating a heroin addict that I was like so in love with for three years. And uh, finally, I broke up with him. And two days later, I was like, OK, I'm going to try out this, this acro thing. And um, yeah, I totally fell in love with it after that. I quit my job and decided I was just gonna forever do what I love. I'm not gonna ever work a nine to five job and I'm just gonna like, I wanna be here to do acrobatics all day long. I realized Acrobatics and fashion were my two loves. Hey. Doing handstands on people and selling cool clothes. Hey. So I created a line called Runway to the Circus. Because I kind of ran away to join the circus, I will dig and treasure hunt and find really cool pieces that like I personally love. And then I'll go to markets and shows and also set up shop out of my apartment. I want to help people feel like the best possible version of themselves through the way they dress and the way they look. You know, switching up your, your image can just make your day so much better if you have a great jacket on. <laughs> I feel like Acro has helped in so many like different ways in life with just like communication and connecting and trust. Because I have that gymnastic background, I have all the body awareness and like I've done all the skills, but I had to learn how to not take full control. That was the hardest part and like let go and like you have a partner doing half of the work. Sometimes I like to look at my acro partners as different apparatuses in gymnastics. So like standing acrobatics, I would choose like an Acro James or a Ryan Gibson. And then for I carry it, and like there's Victor and there's Acro John. But my main love is the standing acrobatics. Me and James made up this move where basically I handstand on the ground on top of his hands and he deadlifts me from the ground. I kind of use my legs as like the momentum to like spin and then he brings it back around um, and then we bring it to high hand to hand. Just like that. Woo it's super exciting and re really cool to do your thing and like see what cool creative things I'm actually capable of. Acro has been really great for me. I don't know what I would, what I would do without it. <laughs> When I moved here from Chicago, I, I knew absolutely nobody. And I would just show up to the green and I'd just be like, hey, can I hand stand on you? And people would be like, um, who, who are you and do you know how to hand stand? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, let me, can I hand stand on you? That's kind of how I made friends um, and met people. 
Do not hold back, do not be afraid. Go show up to the green. Handstand and acro with as many people as you possibly can until you figure out your groove and who you truly want to work with. Don't be afraid to just jump on people and handstand on them. Just go for it. My name is Elise Vienni, and I am an acrobat, and this has been an Acro Spotlight.